Let's see now. Yep. I have no idea why the engine turned off on its own. Anyway, let's uh, continue this flight. So we are in Syria. Let's continue. No idea what that happened. But anyway. Got it going. As you can see, the navigation screen doesn't work on this version on Xbox. On PC, it's fine, but on Xbox, it doesn't work. Can we pull up. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. So well, we are in Syria somewhere and we're going towards Beirut, which is a big city in Syria. It would be like 45 nautical miles. But it's going to take a while with this plane though, because it's not the fastest. You can see without uh, auto trim, you have to just keep keep it on level with your thumbstick, and you'll be fine. The detail is quite good, even on Xbox. And yeah, that bothers me. The navigation screen that's off there on the top, it's like missing. That bothers me with this plane. So you got the tablet there as well. So let's go. It's saying 23 other miles so far to get there. So let's see how we do. I think we're going to be just fine. Hopefully you can hear me alright. These are headphones. I would love to own one of these planes, but it just costs too much, and um, maintenance as well. And you need a bay where to put it. That's the only thing. You need a bit of money to support some of this. It's always a question in my mind if we, because we've been flying all these planes on simulator for months, what would we do actually in a real plane? Would we struggle a lot, or are we just uh, just gonna know the basics? It would be interesting to know. Try it. In real life. 
If you crash, you crash, guys. There's no coming back. That's the thing. You gotta be perfect. It's not messing around like me. Definitely a great pain. I cannot wait for the Concorde to come, guys. I want to do a couple of flights with that. Maybe a couple of uh, live streams with that as well. I need to do some uh, videos, live streams. I'm going to do some for Xbox and some for PlayStation. Just to keep up the numbers, you know. Because you need it. You need... When the channel gets activated, you need that. You need the live numbers. That's why I'm trying to do the live things before I'm getting to 1k. I'm just gonna fill those hours. But apparently they need you to be active on live streams as well. For the channel to be activated. That's what I heard. I'm gonna do all those before I get activated. I don't wanna I don't I don't wanna mess it up. We've got fifteen nautical miles. Go. You can see we're in the mountains right now. Or kind of a hills. Lots of rocks. Not many trees here, just the uh, rocks and earth. Well, you can see a couple of roads there. You can see the road going around it. It's populated. I haven't landed this plane in a bit, so hopefully I'll be alright. And there it goes, the trees. The trees started to appear. All the greenery. We're getting there guys, we're getting there, it's a bit slow but we're getting there. There's another version of this which I prefer to Upper Arrow, which is a Carinado M... I think it's M30. No, M28 art or something like that. Uh, I have that on PC and that's a beautiful plane. It, it goes faster than the Carinado, it's more powerful and it goes on higher altitude. Carnado. So I'm waiting for that plane to come on consoles. I think it's M28R. I'm sure it's that. Yeah, but that's a fantastic plane. I love that more than Piper Arrow, definitely, 100%. And you've seen that in my videos. The fantastic plane. That should come to Xbox, definitely. You would enjoy that plane. You would love it, actually. The detail is amazing on that. And I hope they don't mess up the navigation on that as well. It's very similar. And the cockpit is very similar to this. It's got a few more features in it. But it's definitely a better plane. 
probably cost a bit more as well. Okay, so we get in there, guys. I think I'm gonna turn. Of course, we haven't got a navigation screen or nothing. I'm gonna have to do it all manual. We've got the basics on navigation. You can see the arrow there, the green arrow. It tells you where you need to go. But, uh, just basics. I'm just gonna go this side, on the left. It's gonna fly on the left. And I can see the runway right over there now. The runway is near, near the beach. And I'm guessing that's Beirut. This one and uh, right at the end there should be Beirut. And I remember Beirut. There's a movie with the Chuck Norris. I think it's a... I forgot the name. It's not missing in action. It's a... Delta Force. I think Delta Force... I think it's Delta Force 2, if I'm not mistaken, where Chuck Norris goes into Beirut. There's a plane incident happening. So yeah, they go to Beirut and... Uh, try to liberate all the hostages. It's a cool movie. I used to watch it as a kid. A big Chuck Norris fan. I used to watch uh, Chuck Norris, Van Damme, even Seagal, all those guys, uh, Rambo, you know, a great era of movies. The 80s and the 90s were the best. So much action on screen, really. Before that, the 70s were like more like a police kind of a police action, and they were like uh, Clean Eastwood. More like detective, lots of detective work in the 70s. Movies about detectives or... Lots, lots of stuff to do with the police. But that changed in the 90s. was more action. had their karate movies as well in the 80s, 70s, 80s. The karate was big in those times. I wasn't around in, a, in the 70s and the 80s to remember that, but I watched them in the 90s. Cool stuff here. Yeah. Bruce Lee. Great. At the time. gonna do a left turn here just to gather a bit more room so I can land there I think I'm gonna land on the one further to the left is near the sea should be fine hit the flaps by one just to slow down a bit but uh, yeah I think I think we're gonna do all right I'm gonna do just fine yep Keep it steady. Put the gear down. Just uh, make it a bit more visible. Lower the speed a bit. I just don't want to go too fast. 
Not with these planes. They're a bit light. And now this video, guys, is gonna be in 180p. That I'm streaming with the Twitch. It's not gonna be 4K. I haven't got that figured out yet. How to stream from uh, Elgato or in 4K. The detail is not going to be as great. just fine. Not bad at all. Where's the airport? I think it's on the other side. I'm just gonna turn on the right here. Nice airport actually. Not bad. Hear the suspension there, it's just a uh, very nice. Beautiful place, actually, Beirut. Yeah, very nice. Never been there myself, it's just too far for me. But uh, yeah, it's lovely. the plane is parked up now. It's a, a decent airport for Beirut. Yeah. Look at that plane there. Is it Air France? I'm gonna check it in a second. So I'm gonna go right over there. And we got a couple of uh, Emirates. What's this plane here? Mexico, is it? MEA, not sure what it is. I haven't seen that before. I can see an Air France one there. Is that a 777? It looks like that. Let me just go next to it. See what kind of a plane it is. It looks like a 777. So look. Now, I don't think the 777 has a three doors. I don't think it's a 777, no. It looks like one, but... Not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's got a glass. You can see it's got. It's not bad for Beirut, man. You can see it's got glass connections on the planes. That's good. I'm gonna have to try that later with a, an airliner. MEA is that the uh, sort of does it say Middle East Airlines 
Interesting. Yeah, but uh, as far as Coronado, quite easy plane to fly and land. You're not going to have much trouble with it. gonna bother with the whole turning off thing because you've seen it once you've seen it all the time so there's no wasting time with that so it's a simple thing anyway just to turn it off so yeah hopefully you enjoyed the flight guys and let me know what you think of Beirut and this uh, airport it's very interesting to see the You can see the glass there, and with the detail that was added recently on uh, the pack. So that's very nice. Would be interesting to see there's an airliner in here, just to see what it looks like. I'm gonna try that later. So take care, guys, and all the best, and speak to you soon. Bye bye.